Hi everyone, today we're doing the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 4 Episode 6 Review Recap. We're going to start off with Kim. Kim is like 37 weeks pregnant, but you know, she's very uncomfortable right now. So her and Croy go to the doctor to see if everything's alright. And she was like, she's kind of nervous because I guess her first daughter, the epidural didn't work. And she ended up having a 9 pound baby, epidural free. And she's like... I don't want to go through that again. So the doctor comes in and let her know, hey, you got preeclampsia. We're going to go ahead and take you in. We would like to keep the baby in longer, but that's putting you and the baby's health at risk. I'm just paraphrasing. So they go into the hospital and get everything situated. And they end up having a little cute little baby boy. I, his name is Corey, but I don't remember his full name. But he is a cute little baby boy. We're going to move over to Phaedra. Phaedra, she's due in court, and her client is late. So when he finally gets there, they go up in front of the in front of the judge. Dang, I couldn't get that out. And he was like, you know, basically the dude was caught driving had marijuana on him, and the judge was like, well, since I know Phaedra and Phaedra is a good person, I'm a you know I'm a good faith out, and I'm gonna let you go, but come back in a year. Now we are gonna be periodically testing you for marijuana. And if that does happen, you in trouble, honey. And I was like, that was kind of weird. It's Phaedra, she just sit there and just, she didn't have to say anything. And to me, that was kind of weird how, like, wasn't she supposed to, like, be defending him, you know, since, you know, that was her client and all. But that, that wasn't the worst part about it is he go out to his car. He didn't lie to the judge because he had tinted windows. That's why he got her pulled over. He said he took him off. He didn't. She gets out there like, boy, you done lying in front of the judge. And he didn't just like, here's Phaedra, here's your check for your service. He just took out some money, handed it to her, and she just walked off. And for some reason to me, that just seemed a little weird. Because, you know, I thought when you got your lawyer, you supposed to pay him like check, you know, money or something like that. But that's how Phaedra rolled and okay. We gonna move over to Sheree. Sheree and her mom were at the... Uh, her land where she's going to build Chateau Charay and she's like mom Bob and tripping he ain't paid child support in four years and she's like that's that's my kid's father but I want to put him in jail because you know that's their father her mom was like me and your father divorced eight, eight years old and when <coughs> <coughs> sorry when that child support money wasn't there I had to do what I had to do and basically Sheree you need to do the same thing those, he, those are his kids too you shouldn't have to threaten him with jail for him to take care of his kids. He he got money. So, I mean, what's the problem? He was man enough to, you know, lay down with you and make them kids. You got to take care of them. Again, I'm just paraphrasing. She's like, okay, mom. If I got to do that, then I got to do that. So, later on, she's out walking her dog. She come home. She be letter from Bob, like, I guess, summonsing her to court. So she calls her mom on the phone, and they're talking about Bob sending her to court. And the thing I didn't like about it was her son was, like, earshot away. I would have rather her, like, went out in the hallway or probably not that's, like, people walking by, but maybe into her room and discuss that, not discussing that situation with her son right there. And for some reason, I felt some kind of way about that. But I guess at that time, he know his daddy ain't paying child support, so what's the point of hiding him, so... We gonna move over to um, what's her name? Cynthia. She's getting ready to go on a trip to New York, and she's packing. And Peter's like, I don't know. Peter just like, I got this bad vibe from him last night's video. He was talking about some, you know, you go to you go to New York, get your business done, you basically get back here. If you gotta eat, you eat, but don't be talking to nobody. Keep your eye this way. Versus a man walking over here, don't worry about him. You just keep your eye on the prize, bring that money home. And I was like, eh? And she was like showing him perfume. He's like, if you take it out to see Russell, you ain't doing that. Mm -mm. So, oh, I'm sorry, I was talking outside. So, she goes to New York. Nini goes to New York too because she's trying to get make a business deal with some dude who owns a pizza restaurant. And I'm, I do not know how to spell that. You know the name of it, so I'm not even go. I don't know how to say the name right, so I'm not gonna do it. So I think it's Familia Pizza, and I guess Needy want to get her a little franchise so she could be making her some money. So they meet up. He's trying to wind and dine Needy, trying to be funny. He didn't bought her. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, 
a Tiffany's pen the right day first deal with, bought her some shoes, and got some dude who ain't sung in like nine years to come and sing for Nene. And at first, Nene was like, good. And she, you know, she was kind of like flattered by that. I was like, oh, that's kind of sweet. Cynthia, she goes to meet up with Russell. He's going 50 million miles a minute. She's like, I want to get this modeling school together. Then he got in her head. So maybe I shouldn't just should be modeled, just get into the industry school. And somehow it went from the Bailey modeling agency to the Bailey fashion school or something like that. So, okay. Who else is there? Okay. Candy meets up with her mama. So her and mama, um, Joyce, they don't forgave each other. Mama come over because I guess she's trying to get her ad put on the internet so she brings in different dresses and so Candy can take some pictures of her. I don't know why Candy thought it was necessary for them to film her mama in that girder, but she did. Got mama laid out across the car. I was like, oh my goodness. I, I'm, maybe it's going to I cannot sit there and take pictures of my mama and put them on the internet so she can get her man. I just, I, I cannot see myself doing that. Maybe that's just me, but apparently her, Candy and her mama had that kind of relationship where they could do that. It just seemed weird. And I hope y'all can understand me because <coughs> I got this sore throat and it's going on. It's raining outside, so therefore it's ugly. So that's probably why it's not no light, but that's, that's another story. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I want to um, thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. And like always, I want you to thumbs up. I want you to comment. I want you to subscribe. And I want you to share with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.